Hello, good morning. This is your Daily Outlook for Friday the 8th of February. The euro dropped more than 200 pips against the US dollar after yesterday's ECB press conference. The single currency lost nearly 1% as the investors felt ECB President Mario Draghi's comments to be more dovish than expected. Following certain questions regarding the recent euro strength from the press, he failed to support the higher euro, pushing the currency to a two-week low. The single currency has since corrected to 133.87 and today's trading may see it correct further as analysts review Mr Draghi's remarks in more detail. The euro moved lower against the stronger Japanese yen following the ECB conference since falling to a low of 124.65 has since corrected and is moving above 125. The US 500 looks like moving for a third test assets resistance at 1510. A possible break above this could lead the index to new highs. Gold continues its sluggish trend at around 1671 as investors are still wary to move out into riskier assets amidst European negative sentiment. Now let's take a look at what the currencies are doing this morning. The euro dollar pivot points at 134.55 with a preference to enter into short positions at 134.55. The dollar yen pivot points at 93 with a preference to enter into long positions at 93. The Aussie dollar pivot points at 103.55 with a preference to enter in short positions at 103.55. The sterling dollar pivot points at 157.70 with a preference to enter into short positions at 157.70. And the dollar cab pivot points at 099.45 with a preference to enter into long positions at 099.45. Looking at commodities and indices, the oil pivot point is at 96.50 with a preference to enter in short positions at 96.50. The gold pivot point is at 1684 with a preference to enter in short positions at 1684. The silver pivot point is at 32.15 with a preference to enter in short positions at 32.15. The US 500 is at 1490 with a preference to enter into long positions at 1490. And the UK 100 is at 6242 with a preference to enter into short positions at 6242. And of course, for more up-to-date information, please visit us at easy-forex.com. And watch out for these market movers. In Switzerland, we have the Swiss retail sales year-on-year -year forecast to rise by 3.2%. In Canada, we have the unemployment rate expected at 7.2%. And in the US, we have the trade balance with a trade deficit of minus 45.7 billion. And we have an interesting commodity today to look at, with oil touching 95.55 after a vertical fall from 97.10. The energy moved lower after weaker than expected economic sentiment from Europe coming from the ECB press conference, as a weaker European economy would have lower energy needs until well into 2013. It has since corrected its fall, but its outlook still remains bleak. Thank you for tuning in to our Daily Outlook. We look forward to seeing you again next week. I'm Emma Andrew from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a great weekend. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click Join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.